channel. Uh, today I am going for a walk. I do this every Sunday. Sometimes I do it during the week, but not always. I love to walk and I also love sightseeing. I've always wanted to go sightseeing, but you know, during summer is very hot. You can't really do a lot. But by the way, before I continue with what I have for you guys today, I want to say a big thank you to my older new subscribers for always coming back. And if you're just passing by for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification button so it's notify you anytime I have a new video. <laughs> okay, today's video is going to be all about my work and I have a little story to tell you my experience moving from Nigeria to America. Yeah, it wasn't easy. Do I start from uh, saying that, you know, how people tell you about everywhere they're like abroad? It's, sometimes it's not like the way they tell you. It doesn't when you come here, you find out. Oh, is that what it is? That what this is all about? I thought it was gonna be something different or and all that. So today, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my own experience, how a lot of people made promises to me to help me when I get here, and most of them did not. Why most of them did? So I'm not gonna say. Anyway, they don't owe me anything. Is the, they have the right to not to help? They have the right to help so i'm not holding anything against anyone you know we all are human, human so and change is a constant thing in life you know so i'm not holding anybody responsible for their own for their action or whatever so guys i'm gonna cross so okay i'll tell you guys a little bit about my work every sunday and wednesday like i don't work on wednesday and i don't work on saturday and sunday so Wednesday I try my best I try Wednesday and Sunday mostly I try my best to cover like three miles to four miles you know it helps like you don't really have to jog like I don't jog I just walk you know when you jog you get tired so easily but when you walk you have fun like I'm having fun right now <laughs> yeah I'm having fun right now look at this look how open everywhere it is it looks kind of sunny but the weather is chilly and I love it. This is how I love it. I wish the weather would be like this always. <laughs> okay guys. So like I try my best to cover three to four miles and and bought some cows, you know. And it helps you stay strong, you know, and fit. I'm not a gym person. I've always tried to go register register in gym but I think I won't I won't keep up with it so I, I don't I don't want to do that it's gonna be like a waste of money so I just do my own thing like walking mostly so so guys okay <laughs> okay let me tell you guys story my story about moving from Nigeria to America it wasn't that easy okay and it wasn't that uh, bad uh, but one thing I would tell anybody who have plans of moving from wherever, from Nigeria to wherever, I don't know, wherever you want to move to, I would advise you to search and have your own plan and always have plan B. Plan B always help. So make sure you plan yourself. Make sure you make your plans very well and do your research i know how things work over there that is number one thing so my, my started like this in 20 like i started coming to america in 2015 end of 2014 stroke 2015 so when i came over here it was easy it wasn't bad everything was cool like halfway point reached shut up sorry guys everything was cool like everything was perfect you know when you're coming everything was paid for so i stayed in a hotel i spent i think i spent like one week then i went back to nigeria so i came back in 2016 again was it 20, no ending of december 2015 ending of 2015 that i spent i think i spent like um four months and it wasn't that bad as well you know let me say something there's something different there's something between Different between tra um, living permanently and visiting. Visiting everything is like easy. You're not worried about anything because you know you're going back, right? But 
when you're coming here to stay, you don't have anybody, you only have friends, and you don't have, like, you don't have a uh, working permit as well. Like, it's crazy. It's very, very crazy. So, I would advise you to make sure you know what you're doing before you get yourself into that shit. Sorry for using that word, by the way. So, I would advise you to know what you're doing before you get into that. So, so it's only something. Ah, uh, I just not like okay. It's only something. I decide to move to America. You know, I've just broke up with my boyfriend. We stopped talking. We, we but so in 2017, nothing was coming. Everything was. You guys know how Nigeria is. And then I, I have a store in Nigeria, and business was not moving. Like it seemed like everything was kind of slow. Then I said, okay, I have two years visa and I have a little money with me. Let me try America and see what will happen. I might meet someone. I might, oh, I might meet, meet someone who is serious, who wants to settle. Or if I don't meet, if I, if I don't meet anybody before my six months runs out, I will come back to Nigeria. So I wanted to start life afresh. But it wasn't easy. Starting life afresh is not always easy. I know for some people it work, but for some people it doesn't. For me, it really didn't work out that much for me. So I so I decided to give it a try. So I bought my ticket. By the way, before I left Nigeria, I have friends that I met. You know, I told you guys I've been here like twice. So I met few people, so I, those people I met, I have their contact, we talk, so I have discussed with them and they said, no problem. Some people promised to pick me up from the airport, why some promised to keep me in their house? So, I agree, I was so happy that at least I have people who want to help. But by the way, despite that I have a lot of people who wanted to help, I did not give up. Like I did not give up, up my own plans, I still had my own plans. You know, aside from what people has promised, had promised me and all that. So, so I decided to. I left Nigeria um, January 16th, 2017. So, so I came to America. So when I arrived, before I left, I was talking to the same people that promised to help me, like assist me with house and everything. They said no problem. We're here. Just let me know when you get here. So when I get to America, I called my friends, in, they live in New York by the way. I called some people that I know that live in New York. <laughs> oh, nobody picked their car. Yeah, I understand they work, but at least pick your car and tell me, oh hi, you're here, what's up, what's up? I did not receive any call back after I called them. It was funny though. But before I left Nigeria, I was there, oh like, like my plan, plan B. I made sure like shop. <laughs> so I made sure I booked for a hotel. You know, because he, he can put it even when people had promised to keep me in their house, I still went ahead and booked my own hotel. So I booked my hotel in New York, then I started calling these people that promised to help. None of them picked their car and none of them respond, not even a test message. By that time, I know I'm on my own, like, oh, why you? You're on your own, on your own, oh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, oh my God. So I, I knew by, by, this, by that time, I know I'm on my own. So I stopped calling. So I went to the subway. I took a train to my hotel. Good thing was that I know my way around, you know. I've, I've been to New York before. So I know how things work in New York. So I, will, I went to the subway, I bought a ticket and I went to my hotel. I met a girl who was in the same position as me, who people had promised to help as well. And this people, none of them was responding to. So she explained everything to me. I was like, okay, I'm in the same position. But the good thing was that I planned myself and I have, uh, I have a hotel reservation. Maybe you can follow me to my hotel if you want. And she was like, yeah, I would like to go with you. Let's go to my hotel. So I can sleep and chill, cool up then and figure your next plan.
and she was like um she was so excited. workout paused she was so excited like oh oh this is so nice of you i don't even you don't I don't even know you and you were able to do this for me. I was like, no, it's fine. I you know it's very cold in New York, so I won't let you stay here all by yourself. So we went to my hotel. We chill for a while. The next day she left to Atlanta. And me, I started making calls, calling those people that have promised to help. Which did not come up. So I was there. So me, by the way, I have a friend in, in Austin that I've been talking to before I left New York. A friend of mine has just introduced us. So I called him and said, This is what I'm Work out to do. Him. do you think you can help me? Like get a place and you know. And he was like, Yeah, that's fine. That he's gonna help me. So I think I spent like three days in our uh, New York. Then I went to what's going I went to to Austin. So when I got to the Austin to Austin I was a bit scared too. I was thinking that it's gonna be the same thing like wait. I was thinking it's gonna be the same thing like if this person is gonna turn up or if this person is gonna be like other people so so unfortunately he wasn't he was so nice workout pause he picked me up and, and took me to this girl's house that I was gonna live with workout resume said, make sure you have your plan you have a plan B make sure you have enough money the good thing that I, I planned myself and I have enough money to pay for rent and still have some money to spend before uh, I figure myself out. So that was how everything happened. So I was able to do all day, all the whole day. Like I stayed with this girl, I paid her rent. She wasn't that bad, she was good, but she was she had her own attitude and differences i'm not saying I'm, an, I'm, I'm i'm a nice person that i keep my promises and all that i'm not trying to paint make myself look good here and other people look bad no we all have our differences so she was kind of shitty to me as well but i i was like oh it's fine it's a house she knows what she's doing so guys i stayed with her for like you know, i think i spent one month then i got a little job i was doing but that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted more. You know? So to cut the story short, I was able to settle in Boston. And after that, this is the outcome. I'm still doing good, still progressing. I'm not complaining. Uh, now I go to school because I want to become a nurse in the future. So everything worked out. So my the whole thing is that what I'm trying to say here is that before you plan to leave your comfort zone or whatever you're doing back home and plan to relocate to somewhere else make sure you have good plan for yourself make sure you have enough money make sure you have plan b almost there don't just you can do it depend on people don't just depend on people and believe that everybody yeah this person has promised me this she's gonna do it that person has promised me she's gonna do it no remember change is a constant thing anybody can change any day and they don't owe you they don't owe you any explanation about that about their change with their change so i would tell you guys whatever you do in life plan 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 have plan b plan yourself okay guys look at the legs it's coming back so make sure you plan everything you know plan 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 is the key to successful successful uh, journey and so guys telling my own story you know of of locating or uh, going to the state you know so it wasn't easy but I thank God today that I'm still here doing well for myself and doing well for my family you know it's a good thing so guys I'm gonna take a walk now I don't know how many miles I've covered so far I'm so lazy so guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share and don't forget to comment and i will see you in my next video enjoy